constant innovation, unparalleled education, groundbreaking global business education you'll find only at Oxford College of Business. That's because all we do, all we are, is business. Journalists were given a rare opportunity to come and visit the Colombo port city where 50% of the land reclamation work has been completed. Now, many developments have been taking place and it's of course an ambitious project. But the question remains is if projects such as this is sustainable investment for the future and for the government of Sri Lanka. Colombo International Financial City, formerly known as Colombo Port City, was subject to much political controversy since it was officially launched under the former President Mahindra Rajapaksha and Chinese President Xi Jinping back in 2014. However, six months later, the 1.4 billion US dollar project came to a standstill with the new government highlighting environmental concerns and issues surrounding the sovereignty of the new land that will be created. In August last year, the project received a green light with the signing of a tripartite agreement bringing a new development under the governance of a new act titled Colombo International Financial Centre Law. Speaking to media at the project office today, Megapolis and Western Development Minister Partly Champika Ranavaka explained how the new city will be managed once developed. To manage the city, there will be a new company other than the Colombo Municipal Council. So uh, to provide uh, utilities like water, electricity and sewage, uh, waste management, there will be another company, the government and the Chinese partner will form. The International Financial Centre development, which follows a smart city concept, aims at rising as a prominent financial hub in the Indian Ocean region. It is projected that 15,000 new employment opportunities will be created with the inflow of foreign direct investment under its initial phase. Over a period of 30 years, Sri Lanka anticipates foreign investments to the tune of 13 billion US dollars and the eventful creation of some 80,000 jobs. The reclamation land, government owns 62 hectares plus 91 uh, hectares of public place. On the other hand, all the other lands belongs to the Sri Lankan government, belongs to the president. So it's only uh, leasing out process. When the Chinese company is going to dredge sand, they are going to pay, we have already calculated, almost uh, around uh, 300,000 rupees per perch for the reclamation work, but you can sell it out for 20 million something right now. So that is the profit earned by the Sri Lankan government. Meanwhile, the second environmental impact assessment covering the development of the land and building is expected to be released for public comments next month. But what happens when the reclamation work is complete by 2019? After the completion of the reclamation work, the president has to declare this area as part of a Sri Lanka and no, not any government agency other than the president and the UDA is entitled to uh, enter into kind of MOU or any other thing. But at the meantime, the Prime Minister's office is working on legal basis and the other modalities how to formalize new legal system, new tax system and all these things. But the entire uh, the real estate business will be uh, done by the Megapolis Ministry.